How to get rid of cellulite on legs and bum. Hi guys, welcome to Healthy Bodies. In today's video, we're going to look at cellulite, what it is and how to get rid of cellulite on legs and bum. Now, the first thing to remember is that cellulite is natural. It's harmless and incredibly common. And in fact, around 80% of women do have cellulite. So what is cellulite? The word cellulite refers to the, the visual effect created by pockets of subcutaneous fat. And this is the kind of fat that sits just under the skin. Now, in between these fat pockets are tiny, tough, fibrous cords of connective tissue, which anchor the fat pockets under the skin, giving them structure and bounce. And this explains the dimpling effect associated with cellulite. And it's important to understand that subcutaneous fat is vital for the healthy functioning of the human body. So having too much or too little can have a negative health consequences, but subcutaneous fat itself is not actually a bad thing. So who gets cellulite? Cellulite affects women and to a much lesser extent men. And this is due to the differences in the anatomy between the male and the female body. And women naturally have more subcutaneous body fat, which tends to accumulate around the hip area. And this is because women have more and larger fat cells. And women's connective tissue cords are also structurally different to those of men, leaving women more susceptible to their fat pockets taking on that dimply cellulite look. Cellulite is most commonly found on the hips, thighs and bum, and in some cases the stomach and upper arms. Cellulite can also be hereditary, so you're more likely to have it if your mother or grandmother did. Hormones also seem to play a role in the appearance of cellulite. As women age, their bodies produce less estrogen, which is a hormone that helps keep blood vessels flowing smoothly. And less estrogen can mean poorer circulation, which can also mean a decrease in new collagen production and the breakdown of older connective tissue. Smoking can also affect the appearance of cellulite. Cigarette smoke reduces blood vessel flow and weakens the formation of collagen, allowing the connective tissue to become stretched and damaged more easily and for underlying fat to therefore show through. How to reduce cellulite. Getting rid of cellulite is not easy, however, a combination of good exercise, diet and exfoliation can produce visible results. And a sedentary lifestyle and a poor diet can worsen the effect of cellulite. So if you're serious about reducing your cellulite, you will need to make some changes before you can see any improvement and the following can all help. Diet. A balanced diet, including lots of fruit and vegetables, whole grains and healthy fats, is a really great place to begin. And this will ensure your liver and kidneys, which are the organs responsible for detoxification, are working at their best and the amount of subcutaneous fat you have stays in proportion to your height and body type. And you should avoid eating what are called trans fats, so things like crackers, cookies, cakes, snack foods, frozen pizza and fast food, as well as added sugars wherever possible. And these promote inflammation which negatively affects the health of the skin fibres and connective tissues over time. And fluid retention also makes cellulite appear more pronounced. So again, avoid eating salty, processed foods, tinned soups, ready meals and takeaways. Exercise. Regular exercise cannot cure cellulite, but in many cases it can help prevent or reduce its appearance. Cellulite occurs when connective fibres under the skin become weak or lose their elasticity, but stretching and strengthening these areas, in addition to burning away excess fat overall, can all help. Firming and toning those muscles will in turn tighten the skin, making cellulite less noticeable. 
and yoga routines that target the butt and thighs can help, as well as strength training moves that build muscle and boost circulation. And exercises such as lunges, squats and burpees are all good for combating cellulite. Dry brushing. Poor circulation is a contributory factor to severe cellulite, so if you sit in an office chair or a car seat most of your day, you're likely to benefit from dry brushing, which gives sluggish circulation a real boost. And what it does, it stimulates the lymphatic drainage system, helping your body rid itself of waste products and fluid retention from cells. So why not invest in a natural bristle body brush and beginning at the ankles brush in sweeping motions up the legs, thighs and bum towards the heart for at least 5-10 to 10 minutes and if you haven't got a brush then gently massaging with your hands in a similar fashion can also be effective. So start to incorporate a quick dry brush massage into your daily routine. The morning is ideal, but if you don't have enough time in the morning, then the evening is fine. Creams. Certain creams can help the appearance of cellulite, and the most effective anti-cellulite creams on the market usually contain either caffeine or retinol. And this is because caffeine promotes blood flow to the skin and helps drain fluid retention, which makes cellulite appear worse. Whilst retinol, which is a derivative of vitamin A, works to increase cell turnover and stimulate collagen in the skin. And this can help to smooth the skin and improve a bumpy appearance. However, creams only improve the appearance of cellulite since topically applied products can't penetrate deep enough really through your skin's layers to make any permanent changes. So exercise and a healthy diet are always the best approach. So we hope you found this information useful. We have many similar videos being created shortly. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you will catch all the latest updates. Until next time, goodbye.